All right, guys. Double reviews coming at you tonight. Uh, potentially triple reviews uh, if if I'm not half dead by the time I get home from the Northman tonight. Uh, it's DreamWorks time. DreamWorks, the bad guys. Uh, movie that the trailers for this seemed so light, and it seemed like this could have went so kitty so fast. Animated movies these days. Pixar has a great balance for, for, for the family entertainment. Kids can enjoy it, but adults can enjoy it too. And I was so worried that this wasn't going to hit the mark for me. Look, the last DreamWorks movie I saw was Abominable. 2019, I believe that came out. The films after, I haven't seen. Trolls World Tour, I haven't seen it. Heard okay things, but I haven't seen it. Uh, Crudes 2, I haven't seen it. Uh, you know, I, I, I liked the first Crudes, but I didn't love it. Um, and the other one, uh, Boss Baby 2, I really did not like the first Boss Baby film, and the second one just looked so kiddy, like DreamWorks was just going straight to stoop to kids for that one. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen it. No interest to see it. Um, and now this, I didn't know how it was going to go. Uh, Sam Rockwell plays Mr. Wolf, and this movie is about a bunch of bad guys, bad animals, creatures. Aquafina plays the tarantula. Craig Robinson plays the shark. Mark Marin, Mr. Snake. And uh, a couple other other characters. Uh, Anthony Ramos plays another bad guy. So when you when you go to see this movie, you don't you, you kind of know what to expect, but you hope that that's not all you get. Because when I went into this, I didn't know if I was going to like it. I didn't know if I was going to hate it. I was very nervous going into this. And I'll tell you that I think this is almost maybe just as good as Abominable. If we're talking about DreamWorks' original films. Uh, it's an original concept, not a sequel to anything. And I actually, you know, you're sitting there, you're watching the movie, and there's plot to it. It's not just what you see in the trailers. The trailers give you the concept. You see this movie, there's so much more going on. With the wolf character, they, they really go in depth with it. This uh, mare or whatever she is, uh, she's uh, Tiffany Fluffett, maybe. Uh, Misty Luggins, I think that's the cop. But uh, she's she's the new councilman, councilwoman. She's the mayor. She's the fox. And a uh, lot of stuff going on with that character that they they didn't have to do. I think with the script, they, they went above and beyond, and I really appreciate that. I think I, I like this movie maybe more than Abominable. I've only seen that once. That had a kind of an emotional hook, too. This didn't really have an emotional hook, but I think the screenplay is better. I think the screenplay is a lot better in this uh, than a lot of DreamWorks movies that, that have come out lately. Uh, look, DreamWorks' best movie, like, excellent film that they put out was back in 2014, for me, anyway, it's How to Train Your Dragon 2. They haven't made a great movie since. This is not a great movie. But this is a solid movie. This is a, this is a, a good movie. This is an entertaining movie. It, f it flies by, breezes by. Such an easy watch. And you get something out of it, too. Because the story's good. The execution is well enough. Love the animation style. And the voice acting is good, too. Sam Rockwell is great in this movie. I don't know how much effort he put into it, but he just has that, that soothing voice to where you listen to and you get behind this character. Everybody else, look, Aquafina, she's hit or miss with me. She bugs me in some films. She bug she doesn't bug me in other films. Loved her in Shang-Chi. Uh, some other things, she kind of bugs me. You know, uh, her, her humor style is so intense. She was to toned down in Shang-Chi. She's toned down in this. Great, great performance. Uh, Zazie Beats plays Diane. That's the character. Diane Fox. Diane Foxen. She is Foxington. She's great in the movie. She actually gives such a great voice performance. Zazie Beats, yeah, from Deadpool 2. Domino. Uh, she, she's very solid in the film. Uh, that's, that's the character. All the voice performance is great. The animation style is so different really from what DreamWorks has been doing. Uh, I, I love it. I w love the way it looks. looks almost like a storybook come to life. looks almost like a... You guys ever play Sly Cooper? It looks like that animation style. Just a huge cutscene. I don't know. I just I loved it. I thought it was, I thought the animation looked great. Uh, like I said, the movie flew by. Uh, DreamWorks, uh, if they keep popping out movies like this, you know, 
I'd be okay with it. They don't have to live up to Pixar, but just make films for everyone. And I could definitely see myself watching this again. The opening scene pays homage to Pulp Fiction. I mean, I, no kid is going to get that. Adults are only going to get that. Uh, and I thought that was great. So, thumbs up for me. Two, two thumbs up for me. I'm going to give the bad guys a very 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 solid three and a half out of five if i watch it again i might bump it to four i don't know but i think this is an extremely solid three and a half out of five stars and i could be picking it up when it comes out on on uh, 4k 4k blu-ray so yeah uh a fan of it that's for sure and i was not expecting to say that so comment down below what's your favorite dreamworks movie in the past 10 years 2022, so How to Train Your Dragon 2 still counts. So that's my favorite uh, DreamWorks film of the past 10 years. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you think about this movie? Other DreamWorks films? What's, what's your thoughts on all that? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just post a review for the um, massive talent, the unbearable weight of massive talent. The title that always confuses me, the Nicolas Cage movie. Go check out my review for that. We're seeing The Northman in about a half hour here. So can't wait for that. Uh, Robert Eggers didn't really care for The Lighthouse. Actually, I like The Lighthouse more than The Witch, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But, uh, yeah, that's been it for me, guys. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. More on those in the description of this video. And I thank you so much for watching my review for the bad guys. And until next time, over and out.